You mentioned at one point uh, that we, we see society in, a, in vertical terms most mm. often, see it in vertical terms, but it's far more important to see society in a horizontal way. Now, we often think of society in solely vertical terms. Governments over citizens, citizens under government. I don't think it's a good way to think, but that's the way we often do it. I want to say to you, it's crucial that we think horizontally as well, if we want to understand the conditions needed for social thriving. And the horizontal questions might include, how do we relate to one another as citizens? Do we see our fellow citizens as mere competitors for finite resources and status, and individuals whom we have rights claims against? For subsidiarity to work, we need a revival, not merely of civic rights, but I have to say to you too, of a re-engagement by citizens, a stepping up to look for our civic duties, to accept them, to be virtuous citizens. We need a movement of persons who show up. I touched on this on Sunday night. We're living in the age of disengagement. People are disengaged. I understand why many of them feel they're not wanted in the public square, but can I say to you, that's all the more reason why we are needed in the public square. John, in that little grab, I think you pretty much nailed what ARC is all about. What, can you elaborate on it for me? Yeah, look, I think what I was trying to drive at uh, was a talk on subsidiarity. I had to, I had to practice pronouncing it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really about, uh, yeah, again, wisdom in the bush. You know, you've got to step up to your responsibilities. And as Jordan Peterson keeps saying, in fact, you won't find any satisfaction and purpose in life until you accept your responsibilities. But it really refers to um, subsidiarity means that you ought to do for yourself what you can do better than some other higher level right up to government. Mm -hmm. And you ought to do for your neighbours and your family and those around you what you can do best rather than shoving it up to the next level because they won't do it as well. They won't be as sympathetic. They won't do it in a timely way. They won't do it in a way that really respects you. You should only surrender to government those things which and you should surrender them, you know, at the point of a pen in a ballot box. You know, you shouldn't let governments take them. You know, our rights belong to us. So we should only let such of them go as are necessary for the good ordering of our society and our safety. No more. No more. Um, and, and the idea here is that so often now, you know, we think wherever we are on the, on the sort of the vertical line and we look up the government and somehow we're almost in, we hate it. Mm -hmm. but we think it should solve all of our problems. Mm -hmm. Whereas in reality, we need to look horizontally and say, what can we do for ourselves and the, for those around us so that we don't need to look up there? We're working with those around yeah. us. Well, I, I thought that was a message to people who hadn't in, didn't, weren't lucky enough to attend the conference. I mean, this is a message for all ordinary people. Just get out there, as, as, you know, as John Stuart Mill would say, yeah. you know, just become a member of your community and make it better yourself. The really interesting thing to me is, um, you know, it was one of the more sort of slightly technical speeches and so forth, and I'm not big on those. I mean, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm better just riffing. But yeah. um, we put a, you know, put a fair bit of thought into the thing, and I'm really pleased that it's running surprisingly well on social media. Constantine Kissant, yeah, brilliant speech. He's everywhere. Yeah. The first panel uh, where Jordan Peterson talked to Oz Guinness and Ayan Hersey oh, and me. that was brilliant, yeah. That one's running very strongly. If you're liking what John and I are talking about here, you must go to adh.tv. We've got a lot of the content up there on our website. Or if you can't find it there, go to the uh, Alliance for Responsible Citizenship or their YouTube channel and you can find it there. There's hours of of really stimulating, engaging and enlightening content. And, and funny. And funny, 